With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Singer-songwriter Stephen Curtis Chapman has become the first contemporary Christian musician to have 50 chart-topping songs in his musical genre. Don't Lose Heart boosted the longtime performer to the history-making stature of 50 number ones. Chapman, who is now 60, said he's completely blown away by the support for his latest song and even support for his music after so many years. His first number one came in 1988 with his eyes from his Real Life Conversations album. Hits such as The Great Adventure, Speechless, Dive, For the Sake of the Call, I Will Be Here, and many more have helped him to win more than 50 Dove Awards and five Grammys. The Unify Project, launched in 2022 by former Southern Baptist Convention presidents Ed Litton and Fred Luter, has released a 40-day prayer guide for racial reconciliation. Daily scriptures and prayer prompts comprise the free guide. Petitions focused on Genesis 127, seeing individuals as image bearers of God, and Micah 6, 8, seeking God's help in doing justice, loving mercy, and walking humbly, launched the first days of the guide. Related petitions during the the 40 days ask God to heal the wounds of racism and to bound societal wounds from Psalm 147.3. The guide is available at theunifyproject.org. It offers a companion resource to help participants become leaders in racial reconciliation in their individual communities. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His great commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. What do you do when you want to plant a church in a new area, but travel is restricted? How do you know where in the city to plant the church and how to generate interest when canvassing and prayer walking aren't possible? Missionaries with the International Mission Board are employing digital engagement as a new entry strategy for planting churches. IMB missionary Brant Bauman uses evangelism ads and QR code stickers on humanitarian relief packages to point people in eastern Ukraine to an evangelism resource website. In many locations, prayer walking and canvassing neighborhoods to meet people and invite them to visit are strategies to help plan a church. But given the dangers that come with war, this isn't possible in Ukraine. Hope for Ukraine is a website launched by the IMB earlier in 2022. It links to a download of a digital Bible and a chat feature where Ukrainians can reach out for prayer. Learn more about it at baptistpress.com.